So in this episode of Talking About Orcs with the new 8th edition codex, we're going to be going over the stratagems, or probably some of them. So we're going to start with the pre-game stratagems. Well, a lot of these are very, very good. So let's start with this one, Extra Gubbins. This is pretty standard for every faction. Uh, you can take one relic for free. If you want two, it costs one command point. If you want three, it costs three command points. So. Um, nothing too special about that. Art Boys. Yeah, this one has, is uh, a little different here. So this strategy before the battle begins, select the boys unit, including, excluding Scar Boys. From your army, that unit gains the Art Boys keyword. And the save characteristic of the model then increased to a 5+. Plus. That unit can only mob up to merge with other units of Art Boys. I don't like this too much because A, it's only a 5 up, and 2, it's 2 command points per unit. If it was one command point like Scar Boys is, we'll get to that one later, of course, I think this would be a lot more useful, but at two command points, I just don't see it being used. Because if, um, I would actually, this would actually be really good for Truck Boys. Um, one command point for two or three trucks with uh, Boys in it gives them that five up save. I think that would especially be really good. Um, more so if you give them blood, if they're blood axes, because then they get the plus one to uh, shooting as well if they're over 18 inches away. Um, it doesn't help in Overwatch, of course, but it helps um, if their truck gets blown up. So this needs to be one command point, pure and simple. Um, but other than that, if it was one command point, I think it would get a lot more use. I would probably use it a lot more. But two command points per unit, it's just too much. It's just way too much. Um, unfortunately, I think it's just I think it's just overpriced for what you get. If it was a four plus, then maybe two command points. But um, yeah, just it needs to be one. Scar Boys, aha. Uh -huh. This is the creme de la creme here, baby. Uh, Scar Boys, for one command point per unit, unlike the Art Boys. Use the strategy before the battle, select the Goth Boys unit, excluding Art Boys. That unit gains the Scar Boys keyboard, keyword and the strength characteristic of the models, and that unit changes to five. Can only mob up with other units of Scar Boys. Oh, and the other, and Art Boys can only mob up with Art Boys. Holy crap, this is good. Of course, you do have to run Goths, which is okay but strength five boys makes a world of difference especially if you're giving them buffs with warped with, with warpath psychic power or your war banner which still does a plus one to hit um this is absolutely fantastic and if you're running goths um for any reason of course you will take scar boys i uh, i don't see this being so useful on trucks truck boys but if you're running your full 30 unit 30 30 model units Scar Boys is the way to go if you're running Goths, beyond doubt. Because, I mean, it, it changes everything. It changes wounding, um, toughness 8 vehicles from 6 to 5. And with the, all the extra attacks from, from that Goths get, it could be quite devastating. Um, yeah, Scar Boys is an amazing one. War Pit, pretty simple. One command point, you can give your, basically makes your Weird Boy a level 2. So he gets two powers and... Um, yeah, you just do one additional power and can, and can uh, manifest two in each psychic phase. So that's pretty useful. And for one command point, it's not bad. I wish it was points. I wish you just paid points to upgrade your, your weird boys instead of command points, but that's okay. There's compromises here. And the much celebrated teleporter stratagem. And again, all of these are pre game, which means you can use them as many times as you want. So if you got three weird boys, you can make them all warp heads. If you got six units of boys, you can make them all scar boys. Uh, 180 scar boy, golf scar boys. That would be pretty good. Kind of hard to play, but very, very good. Anyway, teleporter. Use a strategy during deployment. You can select an orc unit with, from your army with up to power rating of 20 or less on a teleporter pad instead of placing it on the battlefield. Units on teleporter pad can teleport down at the end of your any of your movement phases. And of course, if you're playing match play, that'll be from turn two on. Um, and set them up anywhere on the battlefield that's more than nine inches from the in, from enemy models. If the strategy is used on a transport, all units embarked inside remain so when it's set up on a teleporter. So the only thing that's not clear is if the embarked passengers count towards that 20 power level. Um, and that will have to wait for the uh, codex fac. Um, in a couple weeks. Uh, so we don't sure about that. Right now, it looks like it doesn't because it's a unit 
of 20 or less. So in the passengers aren't considered on the table. But anyway, yeah, so teleport, amazing. So, so many things you can do with it. Um, obviously the Gorkonaut is one of, the, especially a Goff Gorkonaut, is one of the most obvious ones. Um, can then use the, there's another stratagem which allows vehicles to charge 3d6. Let's see, what is that? I think that's, what's it called? Uh, where is it? It's ramming speed. So vehicle charges 3d6 and it does the three mortal wounds when it charges. Um, so that's going to be, you had that on Gorkonaut with Here We Go. Um, now remember when you're rolling, well I'll get into that when I get another one. But anyway, so you have a pretty good chance of making a charge. Gorkonaut with exploding sixes, 18 base attacks. Um, at strength eight is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, and the, another thing that I want to try is three is a unit of death dreads, dreadnoughts, um, because it's a unit. So you have to start with three dreadnoughts in a unit, and when they deploy, they become three separate units. So you can drop them down with the teleporta, and you can charge three different things with your dreadnoughts. Uh, and if they're evil suns, it's a pretty good chance of making that charge. So yeah, teleporta is an amazing stratagem. I have to say, with before, both in the Index and the previous editions, Orcs had a problem with um, deployment tricks. Um, keeping things off the board, keeping, you know, doing things to go after objectives and whatnot. Um, we always had problems having enough units to do tricks, deployment tricks. Now, the, with the new Storm Boys, the new, um, and the new Teleporta, it's literally very difficult to find, you can build a list where that you want to have more than half your models off the board. You know, you have to deploy half your units, but with Orcs it's easy s that you can get away with easily more than half your units in Deep Strike. But, uh, which is exciting because it gives us a lot more tricks and a lot more ways to play the game. Um, but yeah, Teleporta, fantastic, absolutely fantastic strategy. Um, so we'll get into these. We'll probably have to take a break here and split this up in a couple parts. So aforementioned ramming speed vehicle. You can roll 3d6 when making a charge move. In addition, as the unit finishes the charge move this phase, select an enemy unit within one inch, roll a d6 on two plus, and an enemy unit suffers d3 mortal wounds for two command points worth every point of it. Um, I said this is a great combination with Teleporta or a... Um, Bonebreaker Battle Wagon. We'll get into those, of course. When we get into individual units, we'll talk about which strategies work really well with that. And you got to remember, through, when you're rolling 3d6, the way Here We Go is worded, you can roll one or any of the dice, which means if you're rolling three dice, you can roll or re-roll one, two, or three of those dice with Here We Go. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic combination of rules. Um, it's almost like they thought this stuff out ahead of time. Almost. Uh, force field projecta. This is three command points, way overpriced, once per battle. Um, select the big mech at the start of the next battle round. Increase the range of that model's custom force field to 18 inches. This is not three command points worth of usefulness. This is um, one at best, especially if it's only once per battle. Disappointed. I, it's a great ability. An 18 inch bubble of KFF would be amazing. But I think the pre the, the uh, everyone counts in cover stratagem as was in the big fact too is probably more useful or is just as useful and it's one less command point so I don't see this one being used very often billowing exhaust clouds use the stratagem at the start of your movement phase select the speed freaks unit until the start of the next turn subtract one to hit rolls made by ranged weapons that, that target that unit um, one command point they're, they're pricing these command points seem to be really inconsistent for what you get out of them. So there's not a whole lot of units with Speed Freak. All the new buggies, bikes, def copters, um, the war tri uh, trike. But uh, there's not a lot of units, but still, minus one to hit and shooting is not bad at all for one command point. Not bad at all. Um, I wish it was just a rule war bikers had, of course, the way it should be. Is that bikes, war bikes specifically, should just be minus one to hit, period, across the board in, in shooting. But um, I guess this is an okay replacement for the old exhaust cloud rules. Still not a big fan of it, though. It's just because you can only do it once. It's only once, so you can only protect one unit. 
So if you protect one unit, they'll just shoot at something else instead. So not a great bargain. Not a great strategy, I don't think. Let's see, we're just kind of going around randomly here. More Daka now. This is a good strategy. Two points, two command points. Use a strategy before your orc unit from your army shoots in the shooting phase. Until the end of the phase, that unit's Daka 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 ability triggers on unmodified fives and sixes instead of just six. Fantastic use of two command points when something has to die. With Ludas, with Tank Bustas, um, Kill Tank. Um, of course, it won't work with auto hitting weapons, of course, because Daka 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 doesn't affect those. But there, if you, there's something out there that has to die, this is where you want to use that. Just absolutely fantastic. With Tank Busters, this would be great. And remember, it's till the end of phase. So there is a strategy here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, do, 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 do. Just a second here. Oh, it's this one here. It's only this one's only for Bad Moon's infantry. So Bad Moon's tank busters, like uh, Bad Moon's Ludas, showing off. Uh, the strategy immediately after shooting with a Bad Moon's infantry unit, uh, that unit can shoot all of its weapons a second time. So I can only use once per phase. Of course, that doesn't apply to match play as for narrative play games. So more DACA applies to into the phase. So that means if you use more DACA and showing off on the same unit, the more DACA still applies from the second time you shoot. So this is four command points, and Luda's bad moves. Luda's just become absolutely, unbelievably devastating. You will get to shoot with them once before your opponent uh, decides that they uh, they um, have to die. That's for sure. Um, the thing is, though, you got to remember that you can't use stratagems on units in transports because they don't count as being on the table. Despite the open top rules um, for trucks and battle wagons. The unit itself is still not on the table. You still can't use strategy on it. So that's the only downside is that you have to have your lootas out in the open under a KFF or something. You can't have them inside something for this to work. Same with tank busters. So let's see, extra stick bombs. Again, this is pretty much should just say tank buster units. Uh, use a strategy from the start of your shooting phase, like an orc infantry unit from your army. Up to 10 models in that unit can fire grenade weapons that phase instead of only one. Obviously, this is for tank busters with their um, stick or uh, tank buster bombs. One command point, again, fantastic stratagem. Potential of three melta shots per um, boy with daka daka daka, with re rolling against vehicles. I said extra stick bombs just has tank busters written all over it. Fantastic stratagem. Um, again, useful when something has to die. Um, and then, if they are bad moves, you could use showing off and fire the rockets again later if you want to. Uh, long uncontrolled bursts. Use a strategy on the arc shooting phase. Select an orc vehicle unit in your army that can fly. And this is the fly keyword, not a fire battlefield roll. Until the end of phase, add one to hit rolls for shooting attacks made by that unit that target other enemy units are going to fly. Again, fly, not flyer keyword, or fly keyword, not flyer battlefield roll. So that will apply to dark Eldar vehicles, Eldar vehicles, Tau, Christ, Tau battle suits, um, jump pack infantry. Um, there's a lot of things in here that with the fly keyword that this will work against. And this is for all vehicles, not just flyers. If you use this for the DACA jet, now it's hitting every, that unit on threes from one command point. Um, or like with the kill tank, you're shooting something with the fly unit, with the fly keyword, now it's hitting on threes. That's amazing for one command point. And again, it's still the end of phase. So if you have something else, you can shoot again. Unfortunately, there is none thing except for the bad moons one thought that we were going to copy over from the um, index, but I guess it, from the chapter approved, but it doesn't, doesn't, where you can just shoot again. Oh no, that was the extra hits, extra shots on fives. That's right, never mind. I was thinking of something else. So yeah, long arm control burst for vehicles against fly keyword. Use it every time. 
but it's even better. Oh, yeah, it's vehicle, so it even applies to mech guns. Oh, you can't use this on mech guns because they're not grots. Never mind, because it doesn't allow, because grots can't use stratagems. So never mind, can't use it on mech guns. Use it on daca jets. Um, use it on kill tanks. Um, and fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Let's see, we'll just go over a couple more here. Um, grot shields. Uh, a lot of wording. Basically, it's the old rule where a Gretchen infantry unit between a orc unit and its a unit shooting at it can instead kill Gretchen instead of the target. Um, very wordy in that way. And there's not. Sh and again, it's not clear on multi damage weapons if a multi damage weapon kills one Grot or one Grot for each damage inflicted. Um, that will also have to wait for the the uh, Codex facts. So very useful. Um, I do believe if you're running a lot of Gretchen, one command point um, can save your boys. Instead, you lose Gretchen if they, sh if they target them. And uh, then they can get that will clear the Gretchen out of the way. Uh, so your boys have a better chance of making a charge next turn. Useful, situational, but very, very useful. And so it gives you a good reason to take rots. Okay, we're just going to get a couple more in here before... the uh before we call it for part two this one is i find to be the probably the least uh, seems to be a lot of excitement over this i kind of find it useless use the strategy when a vehicle unit is destroyed within three inches of an orc infantry unit from your army improve the save characters of the infantry unit by one unit can only be affected by this strategy once per battle and once infected cannot be selected for the mob up stratagem if the stratagem is looted is used on loot as unit for your army roll a six, six d6 on a four plus Command point spent to use the stratagem is immediately refunded. Um, eh. A vehicle has to be destroyed, destroyed right next to you, not by the unit or anything. Um, one thing you do is, like, say you put a def copter next to boys, so if they shoot at it and kill it, they sure you lose a def copter, but then you can loot it and get yourself a five up save. Um, I'm not too excited about this. I think there are better things to use command points on than going from a six up to a five up save in the middle of the game after I've already been shot at. Oh, this one's kind of a disappointment. Medi Squig. So this strategy at the end of your movement phase like the clan character from your army that's within three inches of a clan pain boy. It's like the model immediately regains D3 wounds. So they took that ability off the pain boy, off the docks tools, made it a stratagem. Now pain boys only give you the six up feel no pain. And if you want to heal characters now it costs a command point. That's, I'm not happy about that at all. Not happy about that at all. So, Medi Squig uh, gets a serious thumbs down for me. That was a completely unnecessary nerf. So, I think, and of course, they do have cards for the three rulebook ones the command point reroll, command reroll, counter offensive, and insane bravery. Nothing to see there. But this video is almost 20 minutes long as it is, so we will cover the rest of the stratagems next week. Because there's a lot to talk about all of these. And until then, uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this episode of Talking About Orcs. Please subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for new Talking About Orcs videos every Wednesday, new battle reports every Friday, and hobby videos whenever I can. Thanks for watching.